it was a disappointing 3-0 defeat on Sunday against Cardiff City women. A couple of days later, you look back, you reflect. What are your thoughts? It's always about the game uh, in two veins, isn't it? The results and the performance. We didn't get the result that we wanted. We're always looking to pick up points, whether that's a draw, whether that's a win. At the weekend, though, we were more satisfied because we got a performance. So, in a sense, even though we got beat 3-0, the record reads played three, lost three. Actually, you know, personally, I felt it was two steps forward. I was really, really pleased. What people won't appreciate, what people away from the club won't see is that five debutants at the weekend again with another um, new partnership at centre-back. So to go into that game and expect to, to maybe win was uh, the, the wrong sort of view, I guess. But the performance is, is what we were after and the performance is what we got. And in last week's press conference, you made reference to the fact that there were likely to be a number of signings imminent for the club. The good news is you got those over the line during the week. We did, and uh, we would have liked to have had them in sooner. There's no two ways about that. Uh, but we brought back four players that know us very well and four players that we know very well. Delighted that after a, a week's training last week, they bedded themselves in, were able to play at the weekend, and they didn't look out of place at all, slotted straight back in. So they obviously gave us a stronger spine to the team, gave us more experience, gave us greater solidity and stability within that game and I think you know those people that were here will um, add positive words you know to back up my statement. And on Sunday coming it's back on the road this time to the capital against Cardiff Met they're a side that has lots of experience they've won the league on a number of occasions played in Europe it goes without saying that will be a tough one. Each week's going to be something different, isn't it? Last week it was top of the league. This week it's uh, a club that's done everything. I found a member of the club, a uh, club with records, most titles, etc. Played in the Champions League, so we know what we're going to get this weekend. We're going to get a team that know exactly how to handle themselves in this league. They're going to be well organised. They've got top players. It'll be a really, really interesting experience for us. A great opportunity for us, again, to test ourselves against one of the best in this league for us to benchmark ourselves and see how far we've progressed in such a short space of time and where we still need to get to to compete against the likes of Cardiff men. And Andy, you are a, a thinking manager. You put a lot of thought into the upcoming games and no doubt you've identified both strengths and weaknesses as far as this weekend's opponent is concerned. I'm looking for weaknesses, I'll be honest, Stuart. They obviously lost in the first game, didn't they? against Swansea in a very sort of, I don't know, disappointing manner, I guess, for them in, the, in their point of view. But they've bounced back, haven't they? You know, two games, six goals in each of those games. So clearly they've got attacking potency, they've got attacking threat. So we're probably looking at starting with three goalkeepers this weekend and then we'll see where we go from there. And your team is now training twice a week. How helpful is that in terms of preparation, team bonding and getting your message across to the girls? It's got pros and cons to be perfectly honest. I think as you've highlighted that you know the main benefit to that is it gives us an opportunity to come together as a group to do lots of stuff away from the pitch as much as on the pitch. Those relationships, those connections, that team bonding and gelling is absolutely essential for any team in a league that wants to progress and, and have any sort of aspirations of fighting towards the top end of the league. Um, for us, with this group of players, with the relatively low level baseline, I would say, in terms of football experience for most of them, it's proving quite a challenge because uh, fatigue begins to set in. So the demands, the intensity levels, the volume of football that we're playing, the travelling on top of all of that, the limited amount of time to recuperate and recover between games, obviously is taking its toll. So. Uh, we have picked up some injuries, so the squad then essentially could get trimmed even further, so you're down to your bare bones. You've got walking wounded people with uh, niggles and tight hamstrings and all these sorts of things. So from a manager's point of view, from a coach's point of view, from the physio's point of view, we've got to be really, really careful on how we handle our sessions, making sure that we don't go full tilt all, all of the time because 
as I say, you know, we're just going to have a plethora of injuries. So there's a bit of a balancing act there, but certainly that additional time is welcome. And I'm sure that moving forward, you know, whether that's in six months' time, 12 months' time, two years' time, we'll look back and we'll, we, we won't even remember these little bits of uh, struggle that we had right back at the start. And finally, Andy, that leads nicely into the last question. What is the availability situation of players as we look ahead to this weekend's game? A couple will be assessed by the physio today, so we're just waiting for news on that. Uh, there will definitely be one player still missing this weekend, but we're hoping that we'll, we've got you know a pretty extensive squad to choose from. So ultimately, you, you know, you're always trying to get out of me. Where am I going with the team and whatever? Again, I know pretty much the formation. Most of the side, eight or nine players, barring one or two injuries, that um, you know may be forced upon us that will see changes. But uh, yeah, we're almost there, I think.